hello and good day everyone. Uh, my name is Nova Tawashad as a group leader for Team 8. Uh, okay, as you all know, all of us has been involved with a collaboration project research uh, which is called Nusantara Project. Uh, so, I'm going to introduce our members and a little bit introduction of our research proposal. So here how it goes. Okay, as you all can see, here are all my group members from Team A. Uh, okay, so we have four members from University Science Malaysia. Uh, first is North Patuashan, which is me. And then we have Alia Nadira, Shamili, and Kong Lin. Next, we have uh, uh, from other university, which is ABES Engineering College Gaziabad from India. Her name is Monica Pal. Uh, lastly, we have two friends from Kuwait University, which are Sarah Abdullah Abubah and Luwa Kali. So here are our research title, uh, which is Factors Affecting Environmental Performance, the Study of IKEA. Okay, so here is our introduction. I'm going to simply introduce it. Okay, IKEA is a Swedish company that registered in Netherlands and was established by a person named Ingvar Kaffrat in 1943. The following assets has been their products and services from IKEA that are designing and selling ready to assemble furniture like beds, chairs and desks, home appliances and home accessories. So, IKEA's vision is making a better everyday life for the people by selling their products, lower prices, and a broader variety of well-designed, practical home furnishings because IKEA believes uh, that home is the most important location in the world. Okay, so in all cases, uh, IKEA has entered our country, Malaysia, in 1996 with its for uh, with his first tour at one Utama shopping center, which is located in Petaling Jaya, Selangor. So here's a little bit of our background idea. Okay, nowadays, many companies emphasizing on profit, development, technological and capital investment. They are ignoring the importance of environmental performance, which has led to a big impact on community life and our for future generation. So the term of environmental seems looks easy, but not every company can do this well. Uh, for IKEA, it needs many raw materials to produce finishes and it needs to cut off many trees. And for this, it would cause climate changes due to the lack of trees and for to maintain the environment. Uh, next, there are many waste from packaging products that has produced by IKEA. IKEA still have not emphasized much about recycling and reuse products like using plastic materials to produce tables, chairs, and the other home accessories. Moreover, the, trans the transportation and distribution of the product that frequently used to deliver finishes to customers also will lead to environmental impact. So IKEA is a worldwide uh, sorry, IKEA is a worldwide known brand and it is one of successful companies that almost everyone knows about it. So, the purpose of this project is we want to find the factor that affects environmental performance and ways to overcome, which has led to IKEA success in Asia. Okay, that's all for my part. Uh, I will let other members to present uh, present furthermore about the research proposal. So, thank you so much. Hi, good day everyone. My name is Naomi Nadira Binti Amazuman and my metric number 149863. I am from University of Science Malaysia. So today, I would like to explain about the future review based on IKEA company. IKEA as a responsible company that always implement environmental performance. However, IKEA company has a several challenge when IKEA company meets their goal. There are several factors that affect environmental performance. In our research, we emphasize uh, factors affect environmental performance, which are renewable and recycled material. 
The Hair Company widely use the plastic to pack furniture and sell it to customer, and they also provide a plastic bag to pack things that the customer buy. Plastic bag is this plastic bag is difficult to dispose of and take many years. Using more plastic bag will costly the IKEA company. Second factors that affect environmental performance is climate footprint. IKEA is a well-known company which sell the products globally and domestically. They need huge volume transport from suppliers to the distribution center or store. This will release many CO2 emissions that will bring a negative impact to the environment. The last factors that affect environmental performance is striving for more efficient goods transportation with fewer emissions. IKEA tends to use direct delivery from supplier to store to an oversized content. They choose rail transport as an additional environmental adopted option. Truck and container lots are optimized to increase fill rate and decrease the number of transport and work actively with transport from supplier to supplier to reduce environmental footprint. That's all for me, thank you. Hello everyone, a very nice day to all of you. My name is Ling Li Guan. Now I would like to present about methodology part. The quantitative method that we use in our research. Due to this current issue, we cannot use questionnaire to collect the data. However, we use secondary data which are the information and the data is, was collected by the authors. For example, we use the data from IKEA sustainability of FY19 and FY18. The success factor is used as dependent variable while the independent variable is environmental performance. For the finding and discussion part, according to our finding, we find that IKEA sustainability report of FY19 and FY18 conducted the home visit and survey workshops, review assessment report, and scientific report. The three most significant factors that affect environmental performance is recycled and renewable materials, climate footprint, and product transport with fewer emissions. Based on the figure, shows that increase for the wood and cotton year by year, which is, for example, for the wood, in year 2015, shows that 50%. However, for the year 2018, shows 85%. It shows that increase for the new and recycled material. However, for the cotton, the renewable and recycled material, they have shown that a good improve, which is 94.5% and keep constantly in 100% for the year 2016 to 2018. The whole visit and survey used is to understand the consumer behavior and how the people live in their life so that they can find the way to keep improving regarding to the waste food, plastic, metals and paper. Good morning, my name is Tara. I'm from Kuwait University, especially College of Business Administration. Today, I'm going to talk about climate footprint and the, uh, and, uh, the issue that IKEA face. Let's start with definition. 
climate footprint is amount of carbon dioxide emissions associated with all activities of a person or other entity like building, corporation, etc. As we know, IKEA is well-known well -known company which sells a product domestically and globally. They need to transport a huge volume of products from suppliers to distribution centers or stores. This will release many carbon dioxide emissions that will bring a negative impact on the environment. IKEA wants to reduce carbon dioxide emissions from all aspects of their operations. This includes the extraction of the, new, of the raw materials, the production of the product, the transport, and the use of energy in IKEA constructions. This is why they work actively to reduce carbon dioxide emissions from the entire value chain from raw materials, extractions to products and of life. IKEA has concern regarding to waste management issue. It has a huge volume of raw wood to produce furniture. It means that manufacturing has many raw materials. And finally, IKEA recycling. If you visit any stores of IKEA, you probably see recycling station. So IKEA gave us idea that she that it cares about environment and recycle. The lack of recycling infrastructures and low awareness of the public to manage the waste problem. IKEA takes the initiative to continue to manage the waste problem. It's continue to improve recycling waste, which can reduce the impact on the environment. And thank you for watching. Hi, my name is Louis Ra. I study in Kuwait University Business School, and I'm here today to talk about IKEA's striving for more efficient goods transportation with fewer emissions. Carbon footprint. Carbon footprint is a total greenhouse gas emission expressed as carbon dioxide equivalent which can be emitted from the burning of fuel, uh, land clearance, and also from the uh, production and consumption of food, materials. The transportation of goods play a significant role in the overall greenhouse gas emission from consumption. Since the first 1950s, IKEA has pursued various kinds of solutions with innovative and economical transport ways for their products. Also, globally and regionally, IKEA products are required to secure low cost and top quality while also trying to avoid redundant transport. Ways of transport. I mentioned five ways. Firstly, they try to reduce products going into intermediate storage and distribution centers. Secondly, however, they tend to use direct deliveries from suppliers to stores to an oversized extent. Uh, the third way is by rail transport. Uh, this is often an additional economically adapted option, as you can see by the picture that I've inserted, um, the difference between an airplane, truck, and the rails. Um, fourth, truck and container loads for one are optimized to increase Hill rates and decrease numbers of transport, and this is a really good way to do it. And they work actively with transport service suppliers to reduce their environmental footprint. Uh, the fifth way and last, smart packaging is another way that would have impacted to minimize the environmental impact of good transport. IKEA wants customers and employees to travel to and from IKEA using more sustainable transport modes, though planning new stores and upgrading others. Uh, also, a public uh, transport solution are vital consideration.
Together with the World Wildlife Fund, IKEA has created a toolbox by which it is used to spread more environmentally friendly transportation of people uh, by developing ideas and solutions for them. Thank you. Punisandra project. I would like to share some information about the discussion part of our project. From the research, we found that renewable and recycled materials climate footprint and product transport with fewer emissions are the most significant factor that affects environment performance and other independent variables like waste management, deforestation also have affected the environmental performance of IKEA. And you can see uh, major components which affect uh, the IKEA performance, environmental performance. One is renewable and recycled materials, second climate footprint, striving for more efficient goods transportation with fewer emissions. Now, one by one, we will discuss about uh, renewable and recycled material. As a result, renewable and recycled materials, climate footprint and product transport with fewer emissions are the factor that affects the environmental performance, which is confirmed by research according to the report sustainability uh, 2018. IKEA has set its goals has set, it set its goals by a focus on renewable energy and regenerative resources, which will enough for setup for future use. They try to decrease greenhouse gas emissions while improve and grow in their business to be a success. Uh, second one is climate footprint. Climate footprint is one another factor that affects the environmental performance of IKEA based on the research shows that the more efficiency of transportation, the less climate footprint, which will affect the environment in IKEA. IKEA has tried to reduce the climate footprint from the year 2015 to 2017, but increase in the year 2018. Product transport with fewer emissions is another factor that affects environmental performance for IKEA. Based on the research show that uh, the IKEA product, the IKEA product to transport with fewer emissions that will affect the efficiency of transportation in IKEA to reduce the absolute greenhouse gas emission. That's all about the discussion part. Thank you. Lastly, conclusion, limitations and future research direction. In conclusion, this study identified the factor that affects environmental performance and ways to overcome which will lead to IKEA's success in Asia. Several success factors determine the success of a company such as brand loyalty, the company status and the products and services which provide various benefits to customers and to the company itself. By using analysis tools, IKEA provides a strategic approach to improving the company's environmental performance. As we know, IKEA's company vision has been to create a better everyday life for the people by offering a wide range of well-designed, functional home furnishing at prices so low that as many people as possible can afford them because IKEA believes that home is the most important place in the world. Therefore, IKEA reduced production and transport costs and introduced the showroom warehouse concept, which reduced retailing costs. IKEA works hard to create a better every day for all people impacted by our business, as well to achieve quality and affordable prices for our customers through optimizing their entire value chain by building long-term supplier relationships investing in highly automated production and producing large volumes. IKEA as a responsible company that always implements environmental performance. IKEA has minimized the use of wood to produce furniture and reduced the use of plastic bags. Through this, it can reduce the impact on environmental performance and come out with the best strategy which will lead to the success of an IKEA company. Also, the quantitative methods were used to carry this study. The factors that affect the environmental performance, which we emphasize in our research, are renewable and recycled materials, climate footprint, 
and efficiency of transportation while delivering the furniture and waste management. We tend to accept that IKA can provide a better environment by minimizing the negative impact IKA on the environment by applying innovative thinking. Other recommendations that we recommend IKA are to reduce carbon dioxide emissions from all aspects of our operations and strive for more efficient good transport. For instance, smart packaging is the most effective way to minimize the environmental impact of good transport. We suggest IKA to assist customers and co-workers to travel to and from IKA by using more sustainable modes of transport. IKA has developed a toolbox along with WWF to spread ideas and solutions for more environmentally friendly people transport. IKA emphasizes on sustainability and environmental design that make sure provide better everyday life for many people. IKA should develop more method that is effective and refer to the suggestions given which can lead IKA becomes the well-known furniture seller in the world. Thank you.